Hmm, instant lock and din bomb. Protected by the crown. Hundred damage by the BT. I think this will be cutting it close. Wow. Freaking the vamp. One one two by BT. One one two. Battle rage. He's cutting it close. Mm -hmm. But we have cheese. Let's kill it. Fifty seven by BT. Boom. One five two, baby. Let's go. Hundred point one per second. Hundred crit. 0.7 second cooldown. Let's go! Alright, welcome back to another solo BT build. Let's compare the current improved version versus the previous one. So, the previous one, this build. Total of 86.7 DPS, and when we look at the previous, and we look at the current build, the total damage is 126.2 DPS. So that's a 1.456 times more DPS than the previous build. Now let's compare the. Two inventories. So on the left side we have the old build. On the right side we have the improved one. And we can see what are the differences. So on the right side we have two heat lamps on the BT instead of one. We have float instead of fanfare, which is uh, very helpful for the speed and the luck, shield and stamina. We have the wolf badge. From Berserker to get the battle rage instead of the flame badge. We have cheese instead of chili for our food. We have a second prismatic orb. We have one amulet, I think it's for healing. We have moon armor instead of heart, uh, heart container. We also have a second uh, Neko And for our potions, we change it up a little bit We have a fifth potion, the Flask of Pestilence And we configure it for easy activation for the strong skin potion So if there's anything that I wanted to change, maybe I could uh, replace Moon Armor because it is hindering the activation of Divine Potion. Maybe replace Marmor with Heart Container and Care of Discomfort, maybe. Or I can replace it with King Gubert. Alright, I think everything else is pretty good. Also, we didn't combine the blood amulet with the HP potions to create a vamp potion. So I think that's a that's a good choice. Unfortunately, I didn't get a crystal gem, corrupted crystal. So if I can get that plus a hard container, that would be helpful. But instead, I got the Holy armor on discount on sale, so I went with that. No, it actually armor is a nice, it's a good item to have because it provides the shoes and you get to have 
auto debuff can say so that's very nice yeah but it's not the greatest item uh. so if we compare the two damage tables side by side the left side the older build ends the round in 7.45 seconds and the latest build ends the game in 5.44 seconds that was actually incredibly fast we get to activate the din and luck bombs uh, at 0 seconds and at 1 second for the final final fight so it's like the more optimal setup now so please enjoy the rest of the video So dangerous. One point nine. Fight try run. It's a fight try run. As we So much stamina. <laughs> I use so much stamina. Oh my god. So fast. Wow, we are so neck and neck. We are so neck and neck. I can't believe it. Holy two, what the fuck? Hundred crit. Good luck. 
my shoe, I don't shoe. It's horrible. I make mean, shoe. Price. Let's go.
Thanks for watching. Is this the fastest and strongest BT solo build that you have seen? Comment below. Please like and sub for the Ergos. And I'll see you all next time. Adios.